The subtraction property of inequality allows us to take any inequality. So it could be if A is less than B, could be A is greater than B, less than or equal to any of those inequalities. If we have an inequality, then we are allowed to go ahead and subtract a value, let's say C, from both sides without affecting that inequality. So it's going to stay exactly how it was at the beginning of this. So the inequality sign will not be affected by us subtracting a number. So again, we usually look at a basic example. So let's say I told you, okay, well, 5 is less than 7. Okay, well, we all know that's true. 5 is definitely less than 7. But let's say I subtract 2 from here. I subtract 2 from here. So what's 5 minus 2? That's 3. 7 minus 2 would be 5. And 3 is still less than 5. So it remains true even though we subtracted a number from both sides. That's what the subtraction property of inequality says. All right, so let's look at an example. One quick example of what this might look like in terms of algebra. So they may ask us to solve a problem like x plus 7 greater than or equal to 10. So I want to know what values or what numbers can I add to this 10, I mean add to the x, so that way when I get this value over here it's greater than 10. So I've got to take this x and add 7 and make it greater than or equal to 10. Okay, how are we going to go about doing that? Well, we could, again, sit here and guess and say, well, 1 doesn't work, 2 doesn't work, 3, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10, so that works. But there's so many numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that property and say, subtract it. Just like we've done in the past, subtract it to balance it out. It's got to be subtracted from both sides. And the 7 minus the 7 gives me a 0. And then what does that do to this? Well, it leaves the x by itself. Leaves it greater than or equal to. And 10 minus 7 is 3. So this tells me that any number, any number that I pick, as long as it's greater than or equal to 3, will make this work. Okay, so let's look at one more like that. Uh, let's go ahead and try one that's like a little bit more complicated again. Let's say we have one where we have an x plus 7 less than or equal to negative 3. Okay, notice I changed the inequality sign, but that will not change this property. Property will work the same way. I could still subtract 7 from both sides, keeping it balanced. We can go ahead and see what happens with the 7 minus 7 should zero out. That's what we're trying to make it do. And then that leaves me the x by itself with a less than or equal to negative 3 minus 7. Negative 10. And there's our solution to this problem is any number less than or equal to negative 10. So negative 11, negative 12, any of those numbers less than that will make this true. And so we have the solution.